This is where you start to get some adversity. Everybody's on edge. Everybody's got a little something. Everybody's dinged up. And now they're curious as to why coach is pushing. What, what do you mean? Is he, he's, he's on me because I can't go as well today. Like, no, I mean, it's going to be like that on some Saturday morning here in, in, in September or October. And, and you got to be at your best. And if you're going to train yourself to do that, then you got to be able to do it in these situations. So we're always pushing toughness. We're always pushing, you know, playing the game the way we play it. But now you're figuring out the discipline side of things that you know, becomes a little bit harder as you get further along, you get a little bit, you know, more mentally tired. From the very beginning of Wisconsin spring practice, and more than a few times since, head coach Luke Fickle has reminded his team that everyone in the country gets 15 practices. The difference comes with who can get the most out of them. Fickle and the staff constantly preach doing everything with speed, energy, and passion. What they're looking for are players who can do that consistently when things get hard, when practices feel long, and when it's harder to stay focused and make a play. Yes, sir, JT! Playmakers. That's what defensive coordinator Mike Trestle wants on the field every snap. For the last two seasons, Trestle worked with Fickle in Cincinnati using a 3-3-5 defense that relies on having a ton of skill on the field. Athletes who can move, play in space, and blitz from any position and any angle. If you think in the simplest form, 3-3-5, okay, there's three defensive linemen on the field, those three better be really, really strong at both A, rushing the passer and stopping the run. But in particular, in the Big Ten, I'm going to talk about stopping the run because you know, the three dudes right there with their hands in the dirt. Sit. Hey! Good. Eyes in a gap. Good. 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 Hey. And then at the end, when it's time, snap it. Next show. The two inside linebackers have to be very active players. Uh, there'll be guards climbing with only three down linemen that they have to take on, but uh, we're also gonna have to use those guys to plug and penetrate to be basically that fourth rusher or fourth defensive lineman in a lot of cases. There it is! There it is! Let's go see that players! Outside linebackers and, and down safeties are guys that uh, have to truly be able to overlap in the run game. They have to be that hybrid football player that can play some man-to-man -man on um, tight ends and even wide receivers at times, but are asked to fit into the box. So you do understand in inside drill, the only acceptable gain is zero or less, right? Yes, sir. So when we thud them up at three in inside drill, we should feel like that's not up to our standard. That's what our mindset's gotta be. But those guys up front, man, they have to be absolute beasts. And um, we're gonna play a lot of man, so those guys out there on the perimeter have to embrace that and be able to hold up in man coverage against some of the top receivers in the country. Set, hip. Good. Finish to the ground now. There you go, Moy. Much better. Pedal. Jive. Right foot break. Right foot break. Pedal. Jive. People get caught up in the numbers of 335 or 425 or 245, whatever you want to call it. I think it's about putting players in positions to be successful. We talk about front multiplicity coverage consistency. So one snap we might be in this this front and the next snap we might be in a completely different front. But on the back end we have coverage consistency so that you know guys aren't busting on the back end. They're playing the coverages snap after snap that they know how to execute. So that allows kids to play fast. Oh pick it, pick it off. Out of way, out of way. Hop up and run, hop up and run, let it go, let it go, let it go, hop up and run. The less we think, the, the faster we can play and the faster we can, you know, react and, and read things. And so get it in your brain so that you know it like the back of your hand and then just go play. Through the majority of spring practice, Trestle says the players have done just that, embrace change. And why not? In 2021, Trestle's unit ranked fifth in the country in scoring defense, giving up just 16 and a half points per game. And last year, the Bearcats scored four defensive touchdowns, good for fourth best in the country. 
with four of Wisconsin's top five tacklers from last season returning. Merging the two brands of defense has been an easy sell. The great thing about these guys is they're passionate about the game and they're passionate about Wisconsin, so I think they buy into whatever they're asked to do. We're out here embarrassing somebody, they didn't even know that they got nothing. So if it's thud, yeah, we're gonna be good players can thud things up. Good linebackers thud things up. So thud it up. Thousand one thousand. They knew they were thud up, then let it go. Here we go, pop your feet and slide. But you're right, you can present something once or maybe a couple times, and there's a pretty high understanding. So even if there is a mistake made on the field, they know exactly what they did. Now I have a question. If he eliminates no. Oh, See if there's another two, right? So here we go. Yeah, because then you can play it from high and have vision longer and fall back, right? Then you don't have to turn your back as early. You're going to learn how to play the game. And we got, you know, especially in the safety room, we got guys playing a lot of different spots and a lot of different positions. So, you know, to be able to learn the, the game full circle, is, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, obviously there's excitement to, to do stuff that I've never done before and, and play in spots that I usually don't get to. And, so you get, you know, obviously more opportunities to make plays as well. On the back end specifically, right, number one, you got to be able to play man coverage and, and deny my man the ball. And then number two, uh, have that, uh, that instinct, the football instincts to, to find the ball when you're playing off a quarterback and, and break and make plays. There's a lot of really good players here that can do that. We're, we're going to come out on the field. We're going to hit you from the, the first blow of the whistle to the last blow of the whistle. And, and we're going to wear you down and we're going to run you down and hit you hard and you know we're going to make you give up and you know ultimately we're going to we're going to win and we're going to do it our way and that's going to be physically violently um, and, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun as well. Yo, get on, get on, get on! Ball, 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 ball. Good. There we go. We're constantly trying to to be the aggressors. Um, it's a blitz-heavy defense so that we can create takeaways. It's all about. You know, not trying to, to play fit ball, right? Just where I have an A gap and I gotta fit the A gap, right? We call it play football. So, you know, you you might be responsible for the A gap, but you be aggressive. And if you're not in the A gap, well, somebody behind you is gonna make you right. And if he can't make you right, somebody behind him is gonna make you right. So that's something we talk about, football, not fit ball. <laughs> Spring practice is winding down, but for the first time since Fickle was hired back in November, Wisconsin football fans had a chance to see with their own eyes exactly what this new era of Badger football will look like. This is Matt LePay. Welcome to the launch. The Wisconsin football spring game, the first such game since 2018, and the first chance for fans to get a look at Luke Fickle's Wisconsin Badgers. Close to 25,000 fans reserved their tickets for the launch bringing into frame the interest, hype, and expectations for the future. Yes, sir, man. Great day out here in the camp. Let's get it. Y'all oh, know what time it is, man. Y'all know what time it is. What I really got to see is some guys that have a little bit of experience really lead and apply that to whether it's new schemes or old schemes and really impact others. Where each group has some leadership, they're fighting to be the best unit on the field and uh, that competitive nature is coming through and that, that is what I'm really excited to see. There is still a lot of work to do, but fall camp and ultimately the expectations for the 2023 football season will be here before you know it. The expectation is there, it's been there. You know, you knew right away when he stepped in that was the plan. And that's been the message. And to push that on the team and, and to know like we, we got something special here and if we if we stick our nose down and work, you know, we're gonna we will win championships and we will do big things and things that, you know, it's it's not gonna be a surprise to us because we know we're it's achievable, we know it's possible and you know we know the work that we put in in the in the weight room, in the on the field. Um, in the meeting room, so we, we, you know, it's that's the expectation and to have Coach Fickle come in here and, and preach that and put that on us. It's, you know, let's go. Hey, appreciate it. Now that's what we look for, all right? Competitive spirit, all right? Guys were playing their asses off. Okay, play the game the way the game's supposed to be played. Okay, take pride in coming out here and putting the damn uniform on more than anything. Okay, obviously not things perfect. We didn't ask them to be perfect. 
And what we ask for is you guys to bring your ass out here, compete with one another, okay? Now let's make sure it's about finishing. The thing we talked about, right? All right, so we know we got a hell of a lot to work to do. All right, appreciate you guys. Like I said, it's not over, bro. But that was a hell of a start, man. A hell of a start to this season, bro. Let me keep adding, keep stacking, you feel me? Hey, feel me, feel me, feel me, one, two, three, feel me.